The Copper Country played host to a special program for veterans today. TV6's Aliyah Hodges joins us live in the Houghton Hancock Bureau with the details. Aliyah? Steve and Sophie, that's right. Michigan's Tech students and its ROTC program showed respect and support to our nation's veterans from across the country, and they made sure the campus community, including COK Public Schools, showed their support as well. Michigan Tech's ROTC drill team got CLK students in the Veterans Day spirit by demonstrating skill and grace. They hosted an assembly at the school gym for the entire community to check out. Later, the university's career ambassadors organized a tribute led by the ROTC's Army and Air Force members on campus with the Husky Pep Band to play along. We did it last year and everyone loved the event and we wanted to make this year bigger than last year and what more can we do? So we decorated 240 trees around campus with ribbon, so that was like a new upgrade we did this year. The yellow ribbons is a national symbol of gratitude to veterans. Students and faculty even wrote thank you cards to Michigan Tech alumni and local vets. The goal is to mail out 1,500 cards. That's 500 more than last year. We are hoping that the students uh, appreciate the vets enough and that they have enough pride in the country right now to come and give us their time and just write a card. It takes two seconds and they get a cupcake. Leave it to Michigan Tech's student organizations to show their appreciation for our veterans and to bring unity amongst everyone this Veterans Day. And tonight at Michigan Tech's hockey game versus Ferris State, students will be passing out American flags to children and there will be a free hockey suite available for local vets and alumni. Reporting in the Houghton and Hancock Bureau, I'm Aliyah Hodges for TV6 News. Steve and Sophie, back to you.